Hello, I'm Louise from the Cotswold Sewing School. I'm here with Just Fabrics today to show you how to create a professional double pleated curtain heading. Uh, I'm really excited to be using this fun and very vibrant fabric called Cheeky Monkey. So let's get started. Every pleat on a hand finished curtain heading begins as your single pleat. Uh, you need to create these first and this is done at your sewing machine. It's always advisable to colour match your thread to the main fabric as much as possible. Even though your machine stitching should be covered or it mainly will be covered by your pleat itself once it's formed, it just ensures that quality finish. I'm now going to show you how we actually form our double pleat. So we're going to begin by smoothing our pleat down. So we just push it down. Um, and you want to keep an eye on the amount of fabric either side of this central point because you want your pleat to be even. You give it a quick press down. When you're happy, you're going to just push down where that central point is, down your pleat and it brings up the edges so that they meet together and then just press them together and you will naturally feel for where the buckram finishes. This is the point where you want to pinch together and that is going to be the position of our first hand stitch. When we're stitching, we're going to use double thread. You're going to feel exactly where the buckram finishes and what you ideally want is you want your needle to be right up against the edge of that buckram rather than really forcing your needle through the buckram. Uh, you also want to be quite close to the top of your pleat, not totally on the top because we don't want it to, to be visible. I always choose to sew inside the pleat rather than outside the pleat. It just makes it more discreet. So feeling where I want to be and my needle, can you see, has gone through all of the layers. So I'm going to pull through. And then at the point or just next to the point where your threads have come out on that side, you're going to go straight back through to come out near where you started. And you're going to want to do this a couple of more times. You're just going to create a couple of knots to tie it off. And I do it just by looping my needle through. And then just to secure the threads off, pop your needle directly under your threads so that it's secure to cut off. You can cut off your threads, give your pleat a little shape. It's always important to hand stitch the actual top of your pleat as well, just to keep it secure. And this time with double thread again, you're going to be going, we're going to be starting on one side and it's going to be the same type of stab stitch. So we're going to literally go, be going all through the layers and then once we've got to the centre point, we're going to be coming all through the layers on the other side of the pleat. So you're going to start on this side and your needle is going to go through all of the layers and we're going to come out at the centre point of our pleat. So you can see there, you've caught every single layer with your needle. Now I leave a bit of a tail on these ones because it makes it much easier to secure off the stitch at the end. So now just next to where the threads have come out in the middle of the pleat, you're going to want to go through all of the layers on the other side. Exactly like you did on the first side. At this point, so I've still left my tail, I'm going to just repeat. So you can see with the threads, before I pull it tight, you've secured every single layer, so you've gone all the way round to the middle of the pleat and then you've come all the way back down. And at this point, you can pull your threads tight. 
and you're going to want to tie off a couple of knots and then you can just pop your needle through behind your knots so that it's secure to cut off your threads. And now you just want to follow the same steps with all of your other single pleats. And that's it, your double pleats are now complete. Uh, I really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have, please like and subscribe. If you're interested in uh, courses on curtain making or stuff furnishings, please check out the Cotswold Sewing Schools website. And if you fell in love with this fabric or you'd like to see any more amazing fabrics, then please head over to Just Fabrics. <laughs>